Hey, this is Ben from R&B Reptiles. Um, we're going to show you another video on how we set up our incubation uh, containers. And there's a lot of different ways that people do it. So what we do, um, we enjoy and we like and we think it works. Um, but that doesn't mean that other, the other people that do it differently that they wouldn't work. So um, feel free to try different ways if you'd like. But this is just what works for us. So what we do is we get a, a bin. Something like this, uh, Walmart something. And we clean it out real good. And of course it has a lid. And then we will take a light diffuser. So this is what you would hang, you know, over big four by eight lights, you know. And uh, it's a light diffuser. They can sell them at Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that. And we'll cut them to make these rectangles. And I'll show you why we're gonna use that. Then you'll also, what we use is little deli cups, some press and seal to lock in the freshness, and uh, some other props of things. Uh, right now we're using these little plastic clothesline pins here. So then the big guy here, we use vermiculite. Ryan, for some reason, thought that we needed like two big bags of this. We actually got through one bag in eight years. Um, <laughs> so this is the big bag of vermiculite. So what you want to do is put in just a little bit of vermiculite. I think that there's probably a little cup in there, but it's more fun for me to dump it in. Um, and then you can pick up vermiculite. It's not very expensive. You can pick it up in a Houghton Garden store um home depot lowe's again plays like that so what we do is we fill up the bin um with some vermiculite and you just want it to be maybe an inch or so you got to be able to always think how much room you're going to have with the eggs in there take these deli cups stick them down in nice and secure like so and that's what you got going on here then we'll take some water. Once you get done putting the vermiculite in, you're gonna add some water. And I'll explain why we put these little cups in here. So you just wanna spread the water around. And you don't have to worry about putting too much. A lot of people do a one-to-one -one and put the eggs right on the vermiculite, which can work. But I don't trust myself, so we'll fill this with water. And you wanna make it not really soupy, but um, if you put a little too much, it's okay. You want it to be able to just to jiggle a little bit. <laughs> That's what I like to do. So there's, there's a good bit of water in here now. It's probably a little too much is what we would think. But it's soupy. And you see, and we would still use this. And I'll show you why. Because we're going to put this on here and the water never touches the eggs. So the light diffuser keeps the eggs above the water and it still holds enough humidity for whatever you want to do. Then when you put your eggs in, if they're, you're having trouble with them rolling around, you can stick these around. That didn't work right. Stick these around to make sure that they hold up where the eggs are. Something like that. The eggs will sit in there and they won't roll around um, just in case. So then, just real easy, take a little piece of press and seal. Uh, that'd be what I would think would be easy. Press and seal can be a little painful. A little piece of press and seal. Now, not everybody does the press and seal. We like to do it, just gives us a little bit more peace of mind. But when you do this, when you do the press and seal, you want to make sure that you open this up for a little air exchange every few days. And you want to get this nice and flat. Now I know why when they're on a cooking show, they just pretend like they already did it. And they <laughs> come out, and the brownies are done. So, then it'll be nice and flat. And the reason for that is, um, and there's a little bit of ripple here. I would really fix that if I was doing this for real. But the reason is water and condensation will get, stick on the top. And you don't want it to drip onto the eggs. So this will seal it pretty well. And um, you'd wanna just lift that open every few days for a little air exchange and then we put the lid on still. 
Then we'll pick it up and you can see that it's a little soupy, but it's not too bad. Like it'll move a tiny bit, but the eggs don't get touched by the water or the vermiculite because you have the light diffuser there and the little cups that help it um, hold it up. Now we've gone through a, a few different things to make sure that this is the way that we like to do it. So we've learned from experience and then we will put them in our incubator and hopefully you guys saw our incubation video or um, maybe you can take a look at it now. So we'll put it in the old incubator We'll put the link in the description. And we'll put the link in the description for our other videos. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to us and hit that little bell there if you want some notifications about when we post new videos. And let us know if you want to know some more things or if this is beneficial. Uh, thank you so much and hopefully uh, you guys are having a great season and whatever time you're watching this video. Leave us All a right. comment and let us know how you incubate your eggs. Yes. Thanks. See ya.